Hello people with the spirit of learning. So today we're gonna learn about arbitrary value. So basically arbitrary value is really helpful in the Stellwin CSS version 3. And let's say that we want to have this kind of a uh, button, right? Whenever we do inspect this label and then we press Alt Option in our keyboard, you will see the value uh, of the paddings. So padding top 20, padding bottom 20, and the right left are uh, 42. Okay. So if we calculate with this calculator, so 20 pixel means 1.25 RAM because Tailwind use RAM, right? And it is available in this uh, CSS framework which we can use P5. Uh, okay, now we're gonna write on here. We're gonna uh, we're gonna create one button which called get started. So for the class text white, and then we use the background green. And if we see here, we use the padding five. So for the top and bottom should be five. So P Y five and then we can just save it and it's gonna be like this and if we go back to the design we do have this kind of uh, green color right and it's called dark, dark green and then we need to register the color called dark green okay and we go back to the design the font size is about 22 right so we can just googling here in this telewin the font size and looking for a uh, 22 pixel but then we couldn't uh, find it maybe we need to uh, try harder font size setting the font size uh, basic usage and then uh, using the custom value yeah actually uh, i couldn't find the exact style or the exact size that we needed right so yeah we are going to use this arbitrary value so in this scenario we just need to uh, font sorry text uh, and then we can give like a 22 maybe i can try with the 55 pixel first if it's working or not yeah it's working so it's called arbitrary value whenever you think that uh you're not so sure or maybe Talwin doesn't provide the exact uh, size that you need you can use this arbitrary value okay based on our design in figma right well first i'm gonna change the color okay and then yeah this is uh, called arbitrary value so let's say we do have the padding right and padding left 42 we're going back to the padding again here and we find 42 uh, we couldn't find okay so let's say uh, 42 to ram it's 2.6 so we can find 2.6 yes we couldn't find the exact size that we need in this tailwind preset so what we're gonna do yes we're gonna use this arbitrary value and this is super helpful if we can just use this 
into our project okay and we're gonna need to mb10 margin bottom maybe uh 18 oh it does so if you couldn't find the the bigger size of this md10 just use arbitrary value you need 50 pixel you got it okay and we don't have to use we don't have to use this class anymore right so we go back to the design we see that this button has corner right which is 200 pixel even though we set up to the 100 is still rounded 50 it's still rounded 30 is not rounded anymore like totally rounded so the value the maximum value is the 50 right here so uh, what we're gonna do just uh, put here rounded and then 50 pixel and it is working but if we could find the rounded the border radius in this tailwind so actually we don't have to use this arbitrary value because they do ha have this rounded full so once again if you can still use the preset value from this uh, tailwind you don't have to use the arbitrary value okay so you actually you just need to use this uh, the existing class instead of using this arbitrary value so this is how do we use and working with this arbitrary value and this is super helpful for us if we couldn't find any exact style that we want in this tailwind so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video